It's my pleasure to introduce the Washburn Ichabods. So representing on Washburn is, is head coach Craig Schurig, offensive lineman Kyle Hinton, and defensive back Josh Wright. Guys, thanks for being here. Um, coach, if you don't mind, you mind taking a few moments and providing us with an opening statement? Yeah, absolutely. Um, here, I'll lean forward a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're looking forward to the season. Uh, obviously, Washburn, we had some uh, uh, pretty significant things happen in the spring. We had some tragedy. Um, Dewan Simmons, who was going to be a senior this year, um, was tragically uh, killed in an event near campus. Um, we've really kind of dedicated this season uh, to him in, in his memory. Um, felt like our players have really uh, kind of grabbed hold of hold of that. Uh, we're also very proud of Corey Ballantyne and how he's handled his situation, and, and we're rooting him on with the uh, New York Giants and everything he's doing there. Um, but and, and obviously our hearts and, and, and are going to be with the Simmons family and, and representing him in the best way we can uh, throughout the season. We have a really good group coming back. Uh, we feel like uh, on the offensive side, uh, with Kyle being kind of one of the leaders on our offensive line, should be uh, something that we uh, kind of lay our hat on a little bit. We have three seniors with Kyle Hinton, Jake Reeder, and Colton Dunkel. And we have others that have played a significant role. So usually when you go into a season and your offensive line is a strength, that's a, that's a good sign. Uh, we have a lot of returners on offense. Uh, some of our running backs who were kind of banged up last year uh, are healthy now, and we feel like they'll have very good seasons. Uh, Zach Willis should be one of our leaders uh, from the offensive backfield. Um, uh, Mitchell Schurig returns as a, as a quarterback, and we feel like he's done a, a, you know, had a good season last year, can have a better season this year. Um, feel like his leadership skills have increased, and he, he has a lot of trust. He has a lot of trust with his offensive line, uh, the receivers, and the running backs, and I feel like we'll, we'll distribute the ball pretty well uh, as an offense. Uh, we had a really good receiver last year in J.J. Brenia Hop. Uh, he was one of the top receivers in the in the country, um, and I think this year we have uh, guys that will distribute that wealth a little bit. Um, J.J. Letcher uh, will be a, a young receiver that was having a really good season last year, got injured, uh, but he should be one of our leaders there. Uh, Colin Wilson will be another young receiver that should be uh, really good and be ready to take the next step in, in, in his career. Jace Williams is a returner. He's, all, he's a dual-sport athlete, plays basketball also. Um, but we, we anticipate him having a, another really good season. And Austin Hubert is a senior returner at, at the wide receiver uh, position. And, and we feel like offensively we should be able to, you know, hopefully we can keep teams off balance with how we run the ball. That's kind of an improvement phase for us. We didn't run the ball as well as we like uh, to in the, in the past. And, and I think some of it had to do with some of the injuries at running back. But I think with our O-line and the running backs we have back, uh, that should be a – a big improvement area for us, and I think we'll be able to keep teams off balance uh, with with our passing game. On the defensive side, obviously Corey Ballantyne was a, a great player for us, and, and Josh, we hope, can fill those shoes. He's a similar style athlete as Corey and uh, is also a dual athlete, very successful uh, on the track as, as a uh, hurdler and sprinter, and uh, we look for him to making, uh, you know, significant jump in his production uh, as a defensive back, and he'll be a leader for us in the secondary. Um, at linebacker, uh, we'll kind of go by committee, but we'll have uh, four linebackers that kind of take over um, for uh, the two that we had there for a long time, and, and, and uh, uh, Kyle Emmerich will be the senior leader uh, in, that, in that group. Uh, Garrett Barnett Kruger will be another one that should play a significant role uh, at our linebacking core. Uh, Grant Bruner uh, will also uh, do a very good job, and, and Brooks will be another linebacker that, uh, you know, we feel like those four can kind of take over the. We had uh, McGreevy and Tillman each had like 100 tackles, so uh, we feel that that, that group will kind of distribute those tackles and, and, and do a, uh, a really good job. Then on the defensive front, front uh, Landon Urban uh, will be a, kind of the leader in the defensive line he's a smaller D tackle but man does he play hard and we're hoping the other guys uh, kind of pick up his pace and, and play the same tempo that he does we'll have eight or nine guys that we kind of rotate uh, we'll keep the 
the media busy with calling out who's making the plays uh, on the defensive front, but we feel like we have real good depth there and they'll be very competitive. But um, kicking game wise, we, we had Perry Schmiedler who did an awesome job for us for four years and we'll have new, new kicker and new punter. And now that'll kind of wage itself through camp. Um, we'll also have a new uh, snapper return game. Uh, Josh will be one of the main returners uh, for us in the return game as will J.J. Letcher, but uh, we have a good mix. I think the seniors we have back, uh, the motivation we have, the inspiration that we'll have as a team, I think will be very strong, um, and we have good leadership throughout. So we're looking forward to, uh, as everybody is, we're looking forward to start the season, and I think we'll, uh, um, I think we have a chance to, to really have a, a fine season and challenge, you know, whoever we play. Uh, in, in our, our, when you look at our schedule, it, it has a pretty good front loading to it. Uh, you know, first week we play Lincoln, then we go to Northwest, and we have Hayes at home. So uh, we play some of the best teams and highest ranking teams in the country right off the bat. So, um, you know, I'll open it up to anything else. Well, thank you, Coach. Um, would anyone have any questions for the players specifically at this point in time? If you do, raise your hands, please. I'll bring a microphone over to you. John Dyscher with the Maryville Forum. Um, Kyle, when Coach opens his statement there talking about uh, an emphasis on the run game and improving that area as an offensive line, just how excited does that make you to just go out there and uh, and pave the way for that? Uh, yeah, as an offensive line, uh, we just take pride in uh, being physical and get off the ball and uh, hitting people and uh, making holes for the running back. So it's, uh, that's very exciting to hear. Um, in spring ball, we've just been working our run plays, working our edge plays, uh, and it, it's uh, I think it's going to pay off this uh, this fall. I have a couple questions for you guys, Kyle and, and Josh. You know, you guys are obviously leaders of this organization. Um, coaches, coach was willing to bring you here, so um, please talk a little bit about the the expectations that you might have for yourself and your teammates and, and maybe highlight some of the, some of the, the occurrences of, of the summer, the off-season conditioning. Uh, you guys, those obviously have to be player-led. They can't be coach-led as far as practices, film studies, anything like that. So um, talk about uh, what expectations you have for yourself and your teammates for this off-season. Uh, for my... Well, uh, now, Kyle, please let Josh talk sometime, okay? And okay. Josh, please let Kyle go, too. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead. But <laughs> for myself, I, you know, I just expect to be consistent. Um, I know I have all the athletic ability, the speed, uh, the awareness, knowledge, um, and ability to do whatever I want. But um, I just want to be consistent in everything I do and finish and make plays. Um, you know, I have, like I said, I have the ability to make plays, but... I think my biggest thing is consistency and finishing now. And then for the team, um, I just want everybody to be smart, be smart, be consistent too, um, and take things a step at a time. Because we ultimately want to achieve a bigger goal, but to achieve that bigger goal, we have to take things one step at a time. So we have to figure out the steps we have to take, we have to figure out our roles, and then we have to um, do those as best as possible. How about you, Kyle? Uh, for this year, uh, for myself, I just want to, you know, uh, step up better as a leader uh, and uh, lead not only the O-line, but the, uh, the team as a whole. Um, this summer, I, you know, it's, uh, it's exciting to see all the people that have came out to summer workouts, um, you know, just been working their butts off to get better, and uh, they, they just really bought into the system and bought into uh, just trying to win games. Uh, so it's exciting to see uh, what we can do this year. Yeah, great. Thanks, guys. Does anyone have any questions for Coach or, or, the, or have, the players? I anyone? have one for Josh. Um, Perfect. Josh, when uh, Coach just mentioned he compared you athletically to a guy like Corey and uh, kind of stepping into those shoes, just what – do you like that pressure or is that – or just talk about that and your, your expectations for yourself filling such an important role for the defense? Um, pressure has never really been a thing to me. I've never, I mean, pressure has been there, but I've never really felt it from just growing up, um, just 
being a track guy also back in high school when I hurdled, winning state, everybody's telling me it's all, so much pressure. Everybody's here. There's all these eyes. It's pressure. But at the end of the day, it's doing the same thing I've been doing for a really long time. It's the same thing. And that just goes along with consistency and me just feeling comfortable under pressure. But, um, you know, being compared to Corey, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty great. You know, Corey's one of my one of my boys, one of my good friends. So, you know, just going through our our collegiate track career together, too. It's just like running next to him, doing everything with him. It's just, you know, it's pretty profound. It's fun to do. Um, and when you're doing it, you never think about, you know, what's next. It's always we're just in the moment doing it. Um, and I'm mainly a hurdler. I sprint, too. So every time I got to sprint next to Corey, you know, I always, you know, critique my I would critique myself and he would critique himself and we would, you know, get better by just looking at each other and uh, figuring, and then we would tell each other also. But um, yeah, Corey's a great athlete and um, it's pretty nice to be compared to him because he's, he's, um, he's different. Any other questions, coach? I have one for you. You know, it's a pretty unique situation being able to coach your son. I mean, that's um, not only is, is, you know, do we all engage in the sport in different capacities, you as a coach, obviously, but um, there's already enough um, excitement and pressure just in that alone. So then throw in the added effect of, of coaching your son, um, you know, walk us through, uh, walk us through that a little bit, if you don't mind. Yeah, the toughest part is when I get home for dinner. And sure, I, I can imagine. Meet the, meet the real boss. No, uh, <laughs> Mitchell makes it pretty easy. He, he, he approaches things, I think, the right way. Um, I think he has a really strong relationship with the players. Uh, and, and he's, you know, at that position, the quarterback position, obviously you want that position to make smart decisions, uh, quick decisions. I think he has a trust uh, for his offensive line so that they trust where he's going to be and they know how to protect him. Um, I think they trust that he gets rid of the ball on time. Uh, so there's a, there's a good relationship there. Uh, he, ha he, is a, he has a good mind for the game, and he communicates, he communicates well. Um, the other thing I've liked of, of kind of what they've done in the summer, it appears uh, really offense, defense. A lot of the guys have gotten together and really worked hard together to improve each other. Um, and, and sometimes guys like to work a alone, uh, but it seemed like this group really wanted to be close to each other and work together. And I think Mitchell had, had a part in that. In, in, in a sense of, you know, getting uh, a lot of different guys out there. And we have leaders right here on the offense and defensive side in Kyle and Josh. And, um, but it is, it, it's fun coaching. Uh, I coach the quarterbacks personally also, so it's kind of a neat relationship. Um, and it, it is special when you, coach, when you coach your son. And he makes it easy because he, he tends to do the, uh, the things that coaches want done. Uh, so uh, it, it's probably more difficult on him than it is on me, um, but it is, it, it's a special time, and, and you try to enjoy uh, whether you're coaching your son or not. You, you know, one of the approaches we try to take is, is you enjoy each practice, and, and let's have fun at practice. Let's get better in practice, and uh, when you do have your son out there, you're kind of able to add a little bit to that. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Kyle. Appreciate it. Yeah, Kyle, Josh, thank you guys. And, and Coach, wish you guys all the best of luck this season and uh, continue, continue to represent Washburn well and MIAA, MIAA well too. And uh, thanks again for your time, guys. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah.